Mayong adlaw sa inyong tanan, ako dahil si Emilio Rafael Rubrico o mag-discuss ko sa topic nga gihatag ni Sir sa kuha karun nga mao ang kuan, oral literature. Before ana, pasensya ilang nga to ang discuss karon gay kanun pa man takatisting aning video-video. Sukad-sukad ta masig dili ni mamao ba. Tama sadtan pud nya gamay gay lisod kaayo. Wa di ta sa uni. Una sa tanan diri sa tamis sa pre-colonial period. The period in the Philippines before the epoch of Spanish colonization. Pero para mas masabtan ni ninyo pagbasa lang pud mo sa inyong module kay Narang gud sa module di hapon. Number 2. Pre-colonial literary forms. With the absence of printing press and other means of reproducing literature, Filipino ancestors improvise and use the word of mouth to spread pre-colonial literary forms such as epics, tales, myths, proverbs, and riddles. Sa una daw kay tungod sa kawat-on sa mga teknolohiya like printing press and other means of reproducing literature, ang atong early Filipino ancestors, gigamit nila ang ilang baba para mapasa din sa tua ang ilahang mga apex, tales, songs, myths, proverbs, and riddles. Muna lang gigamit tungod sa wala man tayong mga machines pa sa una. Next is ito siya. Before we proceed further with the study of the Philippines pre-colonial literature, it is highly important that we pay tribute to the definition and description of the different pre-colonial literary form, forms. Number one, oral literature, a kind of literature that describes a story through mouth. Oral literature among Filipino ancestors adapts formulae, repetitions, stereotyping of characters, regular rhythmic, and musical devices. Like, number number one, riddles. Bugtong siya in Tagalog. Tigmo in Visayan. A riddle is a form of folk speech that contains a metaphor. It refers to a rhetoric that has to be answered or guessed by players. This game of wit and intellect is usually played by Filipinos in groups. It's a poetic and form and has one to four lines. Bugtong, kita tanan, nakatisting naman siya mga bugtong-bugtong, kabalo naman taan na. Nga, kining riddles or bugtong, nga tayo sampo lang na sa next two page. I-sampo lang na ako sa inyo para mas pasabtan kung naay wala ka ka kaayo. Nara, taga, dirita sa Tagalog, Tagalog riddles. Maikling landasin, di maubos lakarin. Nga, ang answer ana kay Anino. Mauna siya ang sa riddles na to second is proverbs sa lawi kain in tagalog panultihon in bisayan proverbs are short popular sayings that give that give advice about how people should behave it expresses a belief that is generally tough to be true and wise kini siya generally taught to be true and wise kini siya mao ni siya kung sa Bisaya pa nga pagka-istorya muna siya ang mga panultihon sa mga katigulangan or mas kidili katigulangan na gina, ginagamit nila para i-relate ang isa kabutang module ako nabantayan sa kasagaran na po yung sample diri asa proverbs wait lang Tagalog proverbs walang naninira sa bakad kundi sariling kalawang ang parihala na siya ay pinagi sa laing mga term pero na siya ay na pa ay magkuha nga advice ba parehan ng walang naninira sa sariling bakal kundi sariling kalawang kumbaga ang makaguba sa kaugalingong bakal kundi maura po ang iyahang kalawang na siya ay na, sa proverbs na kay makuha ang mga advice ikatulo tanaga a poem composed of four lines which each line equally Having seven or eight syllables with same rhyme at the end of each line. A poem composed of four lines. Ang nakakuha na ng tanaga kay ang each end of their line. Na siya ay same rhyme at the end of the line. Same dito na ang iyahang rhyme. Ang kininga koan, kininga poem. Gika ni siya sa na-adapt ni nato sa Japanese haiku. 
In, kin, in contemporary times, the modern Tanaga still uses the 7-7 or 8-8 syllable, syllable count. But rhymes range from dual rhyme forms AAB, ABAB, ABBA, AAB, BAAA, or ABCD. Gaya kong tayo sample, ano Nara. Tumatawag sa langit, sana ay huwag magalit. Tadhanay makita, malimot pagdududa. Muna siya itong sample, pero mag, honestly, maglisod yung explain sa tanaga kay ganina, nag-research man ko about sa tanaga niya. Maglisod yung ko sabot sa iya ha. Pa, pasinsay lang yun niya. Kaya sa sunod sa folk song. Ang folk song, awiting bayan in Tagalog. Folk songs are narrative songs that use traditional melodies and are written in style that entails the traditional culture of Filipinos. It is a tale song typically about a community of people's outlook and life. Ang folk song, mauli siya ang kanta, sample ani ang mga liron-liron sinta. Kini siya nga kanta, gina-describe niya ang koan, gina-describe niya ang kinabuhi, kinabuhi o ang traditional culture na to sa una nga gipinaagi sa kanta about sa community of people's outlook and life wala na siya about din na siya sa ginahimuan o kanta sa toang mga ancestors sa una about sa ilang culture about sa ilang life, lifestyle wala na siya ang ginatawag o folk song folk tales Number three, folk tales classified as myths, legends, fables, and fantastic stories. Some were told in poetic forms, others in prose. Number one, myths. Myths. A myth is a tantamount and synonymous to a story, fable, legend, fairy tale, allegory, or parable. It is sacred narrative explaining how the world and man came to be in their present form. Myths are often used to make clear worldwide and local beginning and involve mystical beings. Nakatay sampula na dari aha sa next page sa myth. Magalit ng Tara, si Malakas at Maganda. Ang ang myths, mara siya ang is a, sacred, is a sacred narrative explaining how the world and man came to the inner person form gina explain niya dari a ah, gina sa tao gina explain gina explain niya ang mga nahitago sa una nga although wala siya story story lang yun siya ang myth ay by the way na ako example na niya nga mas maklear na to ang ah, different kay nalibog ko ang different sa myths, legends, and folk tales. Explain na ako later ha. Basahan siya na ako dyan. Para mas maklaro. 3.2 legends. Considered a semi-true narrative. Which has been verbally transferred. On from generation to generation. And has a very essential imagery. And meanings for the mores in which it originates. It typically includes a factual and truthful element or is just based on historical information but with mythical characteristic okay explain ako ang kuan ha <coughs> excuse me naman tayo kuan nari ah what are legends a legend is a semi true story a legend is a semi true story which has been passed on from person to person and has important meaning or symbolism for the culture in which it originates. A legend usually includes an element of truth or is based on historic facts but with mythical qualities. Legends usually involve heroic character or fantastic places and often encompass the spiritual belief of the culture in which they originate. Now, I sample this legend. Legend number one, Legend number one, Legend, legend. Parehaning the legend of Mount Mayon. The legend of Mount Mayon. It's a symmetry story that have been passed on from person to person and has important meaning or symbolism the culture in which it originates. 
pareha dali sa legend of Mount Mayon gina explain dali ko nga nung gitawag ni siya og Mount Mayon so na siya'y na siya'y mahimong semi true story tungod sa kay gina explain niya ang parel sa sample na to the legend of Mount Mayon gina explain niya dali kung nga nung gitawag ni siya og the legend of Mount Mayon Parang yung the legion of Mount Apo. Parang yan eh, kung unsay reason nga nung gipanganla ni sila o Mount Apo. Oh, wait ha. Ang myth, a myth is a story based on tradition or legion which has a deep symbolic meaning. A myth conveys a truth to those who tell it and hear it rather than necessary recording a true event. Although some myths can be accounts of actual events, They have become transformed by symbolic meaning or shifted in time or place. Myths are often used to explain universal and local beginnings and involve supernatural beings. The great power of the meaning of these stories to the culture in which they develop is a major reason why they survive as long as they do, sometimes for a thousand of years. Ang sample na dari sa tong module sa myths kay kining... Dali lang yun. Malakas and maganda. Like, ani, gina-explain niya kung sa, based akong research ha. Ah, mga ba? Sa recording to event, all the summits can be account. Myths are often used to explain universal and local beginnings. Pareha dali sa Pilipinas. Natay story nga malakas and maganda nga mo ni siya ang universe ang local beginning sa ato ang mo ni ang local beginning sa story dari sa Pilipinas nga nganong naatay na ay na ay kalibutan ana na hmm. nga nung naata malakas ug maganda and folk tales a folk tale is a popular story that has passed on in the spoken form from one generation to the next usually usually the author is on on and The comprehensible fairy tales, all digits and even again, some tales have been based on a partial truth that has been or hidden over time. It is difficult to categorize folk tales precisely because they fit into many categories. Natay i differentiate nato ang legend of myth. When and where did it happen? Sinsa ng isip ng Recent historical past, usually from a specific culture. Mano siya ang sa legend? Sa myth, ancient past from a specific ancient culture. Ang sa legend, who are they about? Notable people from history. Mano siya ang sa legend? Pareha sa koan. Sa katong Mount Mayon, Mount Apo. O sa myth, God supernatural. Real supernatural creatures like maganda at malakas. Then there is a fables, a form of tale which has also passed down from person to person and told to each a lesson about something. Fables are succinct stories in prose or in verse about animals. That can talk and act like people or plants or forces of nature like thunder or wind. Daghan na mga itag. Ay kini siya, fables is about sa mga sa mga hayop, halaman, sa hangin, like sa nature. Nga ka nang ginasampula niya. Ang sa story ane, ang kumbaga ang baboy, ero, mga istorya. Mano siya ang sampul na na Natay sample dari ang ang wait lang ha Sinsa ijud niya oi taas mo jud taas taas mo The monkey and the tortoise mo na siya yang sample 
Kumbaga sa fables magkaistorya ang monkey ug ang tortoise. Mag most ay dili most. Ha laha tanan sa fables mag about yun na siya sa mga plants, sa plants, animals o nature mo yun na siya nga mo istorya sila ba? Fantastic stories. Fantastic stories are based on happenings that include urban legend creatures and commonly have elements of horror. Ang sample ani kay pareha sa kuan dali lang ha. Pareha kang Hercules. Muna siya mga sample Hercules sa Fantastic stories ka ng mga power power gihap power power gihapon nga mga story ba like sa Hercules Poseidon Odyssey mana siya Epic heroic stories about heroic action of an individual who is considered as a hero an epic is written in verse form yeah. epics are narratives of sustained length based on oral tradition revolving around supernatural events and heroic deeds no, siya, heroic stories about heroic action of an individual who is considered as a hero muna niya ang mga hero hero na niya diri ang story elements of an epic hero a figure of imposing stature of natural of national sorry sorry of national or inter international significance and a great history or own importance Supernatural forces. Elements na siya sa epic ha. Epic. Gods, goddesses, angels, or demons intervene themselves in the action and interfere from time to time. Settings. Enormous covering vast nations. Action. Consists of actions of great valor or needing superhuman bravery and gallantry. Style. Continuous of elevation and grand straightforwardness is used. So, maura to ko ang report. Mara to kong topic. So, mag-base dia punta sa module ha kay. Naara dito siya tanan sa module niya. Pasensya ay lang ninyo gamay. Or dako-dakoan na lang kay. Nag-lisod dito sa kong topic ba kay. Karun ba mga daka-testing na ano niya. Wala tayo tarong nga resources. Kay, naara po dyan bukid. Then, ang mga sample. Naara tayo sa likod. Next page. Huwag mo na ay karun ang akong mga question. Then, man, kaya ka-question, di ba? Ang first na kong question, diri, uh, is... Wait lang. First question is... Wait lang. No. Mm -hmm. Ano lang, ako ang first... Wala. Nara akong first nga question. It refers to a uh, number one ha. It refers to a rhetoric that has be that has to be answered or guessed by players. Mato siya number one. Isbo na ko ha. It refers to a rhetoric that has to be answered or guessed by players. Number one to siya. Number two. Filipino ancestors improvise and use the word of blank to spread pre-colonial literary forms such as apex, tales, songs, myths, proverbs, and riddles. Ito siya num number two. Filipino ancestors improvise and use the word of blank to spread pre-colonial literary forms such as apex, tales, songs, myths, proverbs, and riddles. Number three. Considered as a semi-true narrative, which has been verbally transferred on from generation to generation. Number three, considered as a semi-true narrative, which has been verbally transferred on from generation to generation. Number four, tantamount and synonymous to story. Fable, legend, fairy tale, allegory, or parable. Number four, a tantamount and synonymous to story, fable, legend, fairy tale, allegory, or parable. Mano siyang number four. 
Number five. Short popular sayings that give advice about how people should behave. Number five. Short sto short popular sayings that give advice about how people should behave. Number six. Compose of four lines which each line equally having seven or eight syllables with same rhyme at the end of each line. Number six. Six ko na. Six ni siya. Compose of four lines which each line equally having seven or eight syllables with same rhyme at the end of each line. Number eight. Stories are based on happenings that include urban legends, creatures, and commonly have elements of horror. Number eight. Stories are based on happenings that include urban legend, creatures, and commonly have elements of horror. Number nine. Heroic stories about heroic actions of an individual who is considered as a hero. Number nine. Heroic stories about heroic action of an individual who is considered as a hero. Number 10. A kind of literature that describes a story through mouth. Number 10. A kind of story. Sorry. Number 10. A kind of literature that describes a story through mouth. Number 10. Banha kay hero. Number 10, a kind of literature that describes a story through mouth. Mara na siya na lang. Thank you, Ob. Pasensya sa discuss nito ka lang. Gaya libog di siya rin na yun. Nga, listen kayo kayo first time. Kala lang, dagan salamat.